Hey Floss Tube. This is Kate, the Queen of Starts, and it is Saturday, September 10th, and I'm still putting myself together apparently. So, I decided to tempt fate and make a video today. Why do I say that? Because the last time I did, it didn't go over well. I deleted those videos. It, I knew they were bad. Just pfft. Second, I'm a little irritated. I am. I discovered my magnet order went to Indiana. The place I order magnets from is about an hour and a half down the road. Apparently my magnets decided to go on vacation. So I have a pile of orders I can't finish. So that irritates me. Then of course I come in here and knock over a box of stitching stuff and spend 10 minutes cleaning it. So why not make a video? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a good weekend. You like my hair? I cut it all off. It was driving me crazy. It still drives me crazy lately because I have this little piece that no matter what I do, it hangs in my face. So, but it's very nice having it much shorter. Anywho, I have a lot of stitching to show you. It is in no particular order and I don't care because when I show it to you, I can put it away. And I'm so behind on my videos and I miss y'all. I really do. I mean, I see y'all in Mania, but you know, making a video is fun. I really do enjoy it. I don't care if no one watches. <sighs> so, that's not the point. Anyway, so I have a ton of stitching to show you in no particular order. Sit. Let's do the starts. All right, first up, a lot of electronic patterns. So um, there's going to be a very lengthy description with all the links to the various, mostly Etsy, mostly. So, um, but pictures so you can see what they look like if I don't have a, a pic, if I don't have a picture printed out. There it is. Okay. First up, Harry Potter. I started this actually, I, I don't know. I didn't look it up. I don't care. It was a while back. Um, so here it is. This is the giant Harry Potter sampler. And it's on a long piece of Country Mocha 25 count fabric. I got this from um, Stash, no, 123 Stitch. Um, but yeah, it's 25 count Country Mocha. I don't remember who it's actually made by, but I wanted something I was looking forever. I could not decide what I wanted. And uh, Lisa Simmons, hey Lisa, of No More Lost Needles, and she has her own channel, Lisa S. Check her out. Um, she showed her Harry Potter, and I fell in love with the fabric. I said, I have to copy that because it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. And I'm doing this one over one, full cross, and I have a teeny little start. Like I said, I had started it, and then I pulled it out and worked on it a little bit this past week for World of Pure Imagination in Stitch Mania and Fantasy in Cross Stitch It's Fun. So there we go. I've got the little blue swirly and some Krynik there and some green leaves. And I have my gold Marauder's Map needle minder from Nifty Needle Nannies. So, having fun with that one. Get in there. Keep it cute. Get in there. Okay. I get to put all this stuff away when I'm done, so this would be real fun. All right, next start I want to show you is from this booklet by Stitch World X Stitch. Incredible edibles. Oh, come on. It's food. It's awesome. I'm not stitching them as towels, but I, you know me, I like to stitch food. And it's just, I love it. I love it. There are so many colors in there just to, for depth and shading, and it's fantastic. So I started, I think I'm going to stitch them all except for, I don't think I'm going to stitch the cherry pie. Because nobody in my house likes cherry pie. But um, everything else I will. So I started right down there with the cookies. 
and this is on 14 count white Ada. So I have the start of the center cookie. But yeah, that cookie alone has four or five different colors, so it's got some really good uh, shading in it. And I have my Homer needle minder from Minding My Minders. I had to think. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Next up. This was a free design on Artisy. If you don't know, um, Artisy puts up two free designs every two weeks. Don't think they were switching out this weekend. Maybe. I gotta check. Anyway, um, you should check. It's just artisy.com, I think. Uh, but yeah, they have two free designs and they offer them for two weeks. So this was one. As soon as they put it up, I said, oh, I need to do this because I love it. This is Abstract Rainbow Heart Bookmark. You can still get the full chart, I think. You can buy the full chart. Um, but this one, is, it's just so pretty. So, so pretty. And I'm doing it on 18 count oatmeal Ada. That was the thing, I didn't even have to cut fabric. I had a scrap that was the perfect size. And yeah, of course I had to start it. So I'm gonna do all the hearts first. And then that way I can just go and fill in the dark blue. So here it is, started on the green hearts. And I have a super blingy heart needle binder from Nifty Needle Nannies. All right, next up, you know me and my 12 days of Christmas. You know I love them. So, I'd gotten this booklet off of Stash Unload, I think. Yeah, I think I got this one off Stash Unload. Um, I was I was hitting the Stash Unload for a while because I kept finding these dollar deals, two dollar deals, on some really awesome charts that were just perfect for me. So, had a lot of new stash. Anyway, this is Christmas Motto Graphs Book 3. I don't care that it's older. Okay, it's almost as old as me, I think. It is almost as old as me, so it's a year younger than me. But I love it. It is so awesome. There are several charts I want to do out of here. But the one I started is this right here, 12 Days of Christmas. I love this bell pull. Now, I'm not quite stitching it as a bell pull. What I'm doing is to make it not quite as big. Um, it's just very simple design with very simple, just a handful of colors. So I said that would be perfect. One over one, full X's on 28 count. I have not cut this down. I just kind of measured in and started. So, but i pretty sure this is going to be the length. Not very big at all. And you can tell I didn't really center it because that right there is the width of each block, box. So there's going to be 13 boxes down. But yeah, that's one over one, full crosses on 28 count. And I love it. It is awesome. It's going to be so cool. Hung up on the wall. I love it. Anyway, I have a Joy to the World book needle minder from Ness's Needle Minders. So lots of fun there. But yeah, there's, there's at least two more from this booklet that I want to do. I love to stitch Christmas. I don't care, I'll stitch Christmas all year long. Which I think there's a sale next year in Mania that's Christmas all year long, which is awesome, because I do. Christmas is my absolute favorite time of the year. That's my favorite holiday. Favorite time of the year is fall. I have blue threads everywhere. Okay. Next up, this is a start I did from Cross Country Stitching April. April 1993 and I started here on a hat but I'm just gonna make it into a, a little narrow wall hanging I love fishing for my hubby I think I'm gonna finish it off not framed per se but do a frameless wall hanging on like a piece of weathered board I think that'd be awesome 
put some fishing lures on it kind of thing. So it's just on 28 count antique white. I use up my scraps. So I have the H started. That little H has three different colors of blue in it. So looks really cool. And I have this oh so adorable, perfect little um, wristwatch needle minder from Ness's Needle Minders. So cute. But it's perfect because my poor hubby doesn't get to fish as often as he would like. Especially since we live here in Texas and so we're not nearly as close to the lake as we were in Florida. You could walk to the lake in Florida. We are maybe half a mile. So here not so much. All right, this next start is an electronic chart by Satsuma Street. It is Halloween Cat. I think it's Halloween Cat. I don't think it's Halloween Kitty. I think it's Halloween Cat. Anyway. So it's on 28 count. Um, glass blue even weave. Lugana, I think. Can't remember if it's Charles Craft or MCG Textiles. One or the other. Got it at Hobby Lobby. Anyway, I have some blue. I know I started that the first day of the Olympics because that was the Stitch Mania Challenge color for the day was blue. So I know I started that then. So what was that? August? First week of August? Something like that. Anyway, I have my blue Cheshire Cat from True North Needle Minders. I have to get the pink one. I don't have the pink one yet. I am not going back to look for more. I went in there yesterday to look for one thing, and I ended up leaving with seven. Kryptonite. Needle minders are my kryptonite. Okay, this next start is also electronic. One of my absolute new favorite designers is Doreen Jones. She's fabulous. If you haven't, if you haven't seen her designs, you really should. Um, she has tons of freebies on her uh, Facebook page. She is so sweet. She puts out a new freebie every week. But she also has a great Etsy shop. Um, and one of the charts I had bought a little while back was Horoscope People. And I decided I wanted to stitch them individually and make them into little ornaments. So I started this one for the um, Stitch Mania Olympic Challenge for the Water Day because this is Aquarius. And I'm going to do Aquarius first. That's my husband. I'm a Capricorn. Oldest daughter is a Aries. Youngest daughter is a Gemini. So those four are the ones I'm going to do first, and then I'll do the others. So I want to put their names and birth dates underneath them. So this is Aquarius. Water. So They're so cute. They're so cute. And she uses just about all whole stitches, and then the back stitch like goes around it. So it, it's really cool. I love it. Anyway, I have this little cute red. That's not red. It's pink. This little pink heart button needle binder that I made. So that's that one. I've been stitching a lot from my phone lately, so a lot of my electronic patterns I haven't been printing out, which is nice. Saves on paper, kills the battery. So, you know. All right, this next start was a kit I had gotten you know, it was one of those kits. It was five bucks on stash and load, so it just came home with me. So, but this is a gold collection kit, and is this gorgeous butterfly? And this butterfly, I mean, that is, it's actually a lot more complicated than I thought. It has a lot of detail on it, but that's okay. It's gonna be stunning when it's done. I think I was having a day when I started this because I, I barely started it. I, I did a little blob of antennae, and that was it. I think this is 18 count. Yep. 18 count ivory Ada. Whatever came in the kit. It has the needles with it. There's a... I forget. There's no beads, but it has metallics. And it has two different needles. And I think one is supposed to be for the metallics. Which is interesting. I never thought of a different needle for metallics. Okay. Next up. This is a fairly recent start wasn't too long ago. This is another free design from um, Cross Stitching Guild, their Facebook page. They have an Etsy shop too. They have some great patchwork designs on there. I have the butterfly one I need to start. But uh, they have a lot of great freebies on their Facebook page. 
And this one says, I love cross stitching. And then there's a list. And there's a little, I have the fan on high, I'm having a hot flash, so all my papers are blowing around. Um, has little check mark boxes. And all the boxes are checked off. And it says, I love cross stitching. It keeps me sane. It makes me happy. It has no calories. It's my obsession. I do it because I can get to stab something 20,000 times and not get arrested. That's today. <laughs> anyway, um, really cute. I think it's, it's you know, charted in red and black, but you can stitch it whatever colors. Um, in fact, the designer encourages that. She likes you to use a lot of different colors. So I decided to have fun with it. And I think it's on just, I don't know if this is white or antique white. It might be antique white. I don't know. It's on 14 count Ada. My light's going. So I started here. And I'm going to do the whole thing in variegated. So I have a bunch of floss from Moe's Sale. Some blues and some pinks and greens and oranges. And that's what I'm stitching it with. So the blue that I've started is Mermaid Tail and the heart and all the check boxes are going to be in hope. So fun times. And my needle minder says I stitch to keep the voices quiet. You can't see it because of my light situation here, which is not great as always. Um, I know the last couple ones I was on the other end of the bed. That made me nervous because there's nothing behind me. <laughs> And it's a long drop to the floor. So, anyway. But uh, my needle minder that says I stitch to keep the voices quiet came from True North Needle Minders. Next up, this is an electronic pattern, and I can't remember the name of the shop. Sorry. I'll find it, put it in the description. But it is a Doctor Who chart. And it's called We're All Stories in the End. And it's really, really neat because it is a bookshelf. So there's the frame of the bookshelf. And so right here, there's a, um, a TARDIS. And I know down here, I think there's a Dalek. I think K9 is over here. Can't remember what's over here. Um, but then there's shelves of books all around it and little bits and bobbles. And then in the center it says, we're all stories in the end. So it is just really, really neat design. And so I'm doing it on 18 count Ada. And there's no needle minder on this. Um, if you're part of Stitch Mania, you saw that Katie and I were talking, Katie the Stash Queen, and we pretty much dared each other to take all of our needle minders off all of our whips and show them. Which was... Awesome, because everybody else started doing it. That was so cool to see everybody's needle minder collections. That was really neat. So anyway, I haven't put needle minders back on everything. If I have worked on it since I did that, it's got a needle minder back on. So this hasn't been worked on. Maybe I'll leave that up today. Because I have a lot of Doctor Who needle minders. I am going to think about that one. i put that one over there. I may work on that today. I'll explain my rotation here in a little bit. And I'm going to wait to show that one. Okay. This I know for a fact I started on September 1st because I started it for the Catch the Hogwarts Express uh, Stitch Along in Stitch Mania. It was a one day sale. This is by Fangirl Stitches on Etsy. It's on 18 Count Ada. And it is the Hogwarts Acceptance Letter. It's awesome. 99% backstitch. So, um, it's just, it's just the wording of the letter. They give you an alphabet so you can personalize it. You can put your name or whoever's name that you're making it for. Then it has the houses, uh, the symbols, the crests. That's the word I'm looking for. Up top, that's the only actual, um, cross stitching. The rest is back stitch. So I started that and I got accepted to Hogwarts. Done. And I have my Harry Potter needle minder from, um, Minding my minders. The chart is really cool too. You actually get two charts. You get the acceptance letter and you get a um, train ticket that says platform nine and three quarters. Okay. 
This is another electronic chart I started. I don't believe I have a picture. But this one is actually printed out. But I don't think it came with a picture. Nope. Okay. It is Paris from Natalie Needlework. And she does a lot of the city charts um, like Jody does from Satsuma Street. Just big blocks of bright colors and... Now hers have some back stitching and some quarter stitches and stuff, so they're a little different, but I wanted to start something bright and colorful that day, and, you know, I put the needle binder on correctly, and I'm second-guessing myself. Anyway, 14 count white Ada, and I've started on the Eiffel Tower, which is green. There it is. It's green and pink, actually, which is cool. And I have a wooden um, Paris needle minder from Minding My Minders. Okay. Next up. All right, this is a Doreen Jones chart, and I got this from her Etsy shop. She has two unicorn designs. One is a summer unicorn, one is a winter unicorn. I have both. The other one I actually got in a magazine. Um, and she may design fall and spring, too. Maybe, maybe. See, I'm, I keep second-guessing myself about whether this is right side up or upside down, but I put the needle minder on there so I can tell. Anyway, this is just white 28 count even weave. And... There it is. There's the start of Summer Unicorn, so that's the unicorn's mane. About three or four different shades of yellow. Very cool. And I have a blingy, it's actually purple. You can't tell. But it's purple. It's a purple four-leaf clover from True North Needle Minders. I had to think, because I have a purple one and I have a red one. My red one is from Nifty Needle Nannies. Nope. Nope. Get to those in a minute when I have the booklet. Okay, this is a new designer I had just discovered, and she just started her own floss tube channel. Her name is Carrie Preston, and she goes by Floss Boss Stitches. I'll put a link to the chart and I thought I had a picture I do this wasn't with the chart but uh, this is her Disney inspired princess anthology they are super cute they remind me of those little Russian nesting dolls so kind of similar design like a lot of the pixel people but they actually have arms which is cool but what I really love about this I, the, the chart is so fun to stitch but um, she put them in order so it's you know appeases my OCD they're in order of when they appeared in the films and they have the dates with them awesome love it so I'm stitching this on let me get this right it's from fabrics by LJ I joined his floss of the uh, not floss of the month, fabric of the month, and this was the first piece, uh, periwinkle. It's 14 count uh, Ada in periwinkle. As soon as I saw the the fabric, I was like, oh, I have the perfect chart for that. It's awesome. So here it is. And I started Snow White and got her hair and her face and her eyes and the start of her dress so and I have for now I have a little bell needle minder on there from nifty needle nannies I have a different home for her but I was in a hurry to put a needle minder on there and I just I grabbed that one she works because bells on there but I have a different home for bell Next up 
is a little design works kit that was a gift from a friend you know who you are anyway um this is the design works it's a true friend is i can't read it backwards is a lovely gift my ear itches it's my hair tickling my ear with the fan on anyway cute adorable little kit so i started it teeny tiny but isn't it so cute and look at this it even comes with the frame how awesome is that anyway so i've started stitching the teddy bear and i have a cute little uh what are, what are those called emojis little emoji needle minder from brenda's minders and more Right. Next up is Paula Vaughn. The book is Quilts of the Bible. And I started the where is it? Page twenty-two. There it's the Star of Bethlehem chart. Love the colors. Quarter stitches out the wazoo, but I'm doing it on 28 count. Antique white. Lugana. So, it's coming along. I have a little start on the blue. That's all quarter stitches. So, glad for the 28 count. And I have a needle minder you can't see. There we go. It's a little quilts needle minder from Minding My Minders. Okay. These next two are by Lizzie Kate. They need separated into their own bags, but this is from the Living with Charm series, and we have Encourage and Laugh. And they're both done on 18 count Ada. So here's Encourage. I have a little wooden girl needle minder from Nessa's Needle Minders. And here is Laugh. And I have a little grumpy cat needle minder from Stitchy Time Creations. Alright, this next start is kind of a mess <laughs> because I'm in the middle of, this is for the hay challenge, which I'm not going to finish on time. That's okay because I'm still enjoying it. Um, this is Faces of Fairy. That's not it. Y'all don't see anything. Yeah. Okay. This is Faces of Fairy number 22 by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I adore her. She's so pretty. So I'm doing this on 18 count Ada. And I actually, generally I, I um, do my gridding with a marker, but my hands have been shaking so badly. I've tried that a couple times and um, it wasn't pretty. It was not coming out nice and clean because, anyway. Moving on. Um, so I started gridding with thread, and I love it. I actually really enjoy it. It took forever. So I've actually only gridded the first page, so that's why it's a mess. There's threads everywhere. And this had a bunch of needle minders holding everything down nice and neat. Of course, they got moved, and I've only put the one back on there. But I really like using this method. I am using sewing thread. Don't get mad at me. 
um, but I because I'm I'm cutting it as I go, which is actually working out just great. Love it. So anyway, here we have the whole thing, and there we have where I've started up at the top. Really enjoying it. Really, really. And my needle minder at the moment, like I said, there'll be more on here, but at the moment, my needle minder is still not showing up. There is Jamie from Outlander from Minding My Minders. She looks like she could be Brianna. Anyway, last thought. ready for that either. No. No. Where's the booklet? We'll get back to that one. Okay. Next up. I started this a couple days ago. So this is from Sing His Praises. Lovely gift from a lovely friend. And I'm doing this one right down here. It says, count your blessings, name them one by one. I'm stitching that for uh, my youngest's room. because She loves to sing. Absolutely loves it. And she's discovered numbers. She loves to count. She doesn't quite understand what she's counting yet, but we're getting there. And uh, no matter how many times you tell her, there are no numbers between five and eight. Six and seven do not exist tell her and she'll tell you no they don't anyway I'm doing this on 28 count antique white Lugana and I'm changing the colors up as I go um, don't even know what this color is I have it written down in my extra chat but I don't have it the label but I'm just changing it up to be nice and bright and pretty colors so I have that and I'm doing this two strand back stitch because just because and I have a little Scrabble tile size needle minder from Minding My Minders. They don't sell that size anymore. That was, um, I think I bought those back when Jeannie was uh, selling the little ones. I don't think she, they don't sell those anymore. So teeny tiny little minder. Okay, there's that. I'm starting to think the book was not in here. Oh, get across the room. I'm going to need mad. Okay, this next one I started a couple days ago. The 8th? No, that wasn't right. Um, well, I don't remember now. <laughs> this was for the um, 50th anniversary of Star Trek, the one day sale in Mania. So it is the Hooties Star Trek. From Pinoy Stitch on Etsy. Owls. Dressed up as um, Spock and Captain Kirk. Awesome. Anyway, it is on 14 counts uh, opalescent Ada. So it's a very small pattern, but I love the hoodies. I really do. Um, so I've started. That's the uh, emblem. The Star Trek emblem. And I have a little white owl needle minder that I made. Next up, started this a couple days ago. This was the September show. This is the September Cottage from Country Cottage Needleworks. Don't you go anywhere. And I'm doing this on 28 count uh, tea dyed fabric. I can't remember if it's Lugana or Monaco. Got it at Hobby Lobby. Anyway, so it's the September Cottage. I got the entire word of September done. And um, it w this took a lot of t extra time. This got a, little, a lot of extra time because it fit into three different cells. So I stitched on it for a while. Anyway, I have my little Hunger Games book needle minder from Nifty Needle Annie's. These ones open. 
I like my little light book ones too. Anyway, so that was the September Cottage. I think I have three of those. I have September and March, which are both started, and I have June, which I haven't started. Okay, this one I actually printed out. This is another Hooties that I started this month. I think I started this September 2nd because I was still in my Harry Potter mood. So, so you can kind of see, I mean, this is um, the Hooties School of Wizardry. So it's kind of like the same format as the Star Trek Hooties. So there we have our Wizard Owls. And this is on 14 count white beta. And I started the crystal ball in the middle. And I have my owl delivering the letter from Nifty Needle Nannies. I meant to swap those minders around. I think I wanted the owl on the acceptance letter and the Harry Potter on this one, but I forgot to do that. Okay, next up is, I want to say this was yesterday's start. This is from the April 93 Just Cross Stitch. Isn't she pretty? She's the Teresa Wensler. I'm not sure if I'm going to start her, but I thought she was pretty. I could show you the picture on the back, but it's not very big. Well, it's about the same size as it is in here. I could not find a designer on this one. I don't know why. But this is the one right here. Isn't that pretty? Um, it's just called Hot Air Balloons. And it just has big chunks of color and bright, bright colors. Some back stitching. It's just really cool. My kind of stitching. So this is on... Um, 14 count Ada. Yeah, okay, there it is. And it's kind of a light blue because I want it to look just like the sky behind them. So I have the start of some yellow there on the balloon. And I have my sparkly Dorothy needle binder from True North Needle Binders. Okay, there's that. Oh, now everybody's sticking together. That's not cool. Okay, I believe. Yep, that's it. So. Oh, that must be in there. Okay. Hold on. Yep, I don't have it. Hold on. I have to go get it. You can look at the wall for a second. Oh, yeah. I thought I had it with there. I didn't. It's right here, though. <clears throat> Oh, ow. Oh, I like the cooler temperatures today, but it makes me hurt. Okay. Now, the other one. Still not 100% there. That was all my starts, except for these couple here in front of me that got missed. Oh. We're going to take a minute here. Okay, it's in here. That was all starts. This basket is all whips. Um, I just gotta find the one I'm looking for. Okay, I got it. So, I've been working on catching up to my own... Don't stick together. Um, my goal was to start the Complete Prairie Schooler Alphabet, and I wanted to start three a month. And I took May off... I took April off for... My alphabet challenge and I took May off for mania so I think I'm still one behind so I'm gonna be starting four this month but the way I've got it figured out is I'll end up in December finishing the end of the alphabet so they'll all be started so I started in the last yeah so last month I started three this month I've started three so far I got one more to do so I started 
J is for jack-o'-lantern. All of these are on 16 count white Ada because I want them all to be the same. I'm going to be finishing them as the no sew cubes so they can like, stack up like blocks. Um, so this has actually gotten quite a bit of work on it because I was working on it for the uh, weekly challenge in um, Cross Stitch It's Fun and the color challenge was orange. So I was pulling this out and working on it for half hour a day. This, I completely changed the colors because, okay, it looks orange in the picture, right? It does not call for orange thread. It calls for, in my eye, brown. It calls for 434 and 435, I think. I look without showing the chart. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so I've, I've changed them up. I'm stitching the dark orange is 3776. The light orange is 9.77. So I've got a little bit of dark, a little bit of light done on that. And I have my Snoopy needle minder and woodstock. Don't forget woodstock from minding my minders. And I started. K is for kitty. And while I have it in my hand, I'll show you L is for leaves. So both of these have the called for colors. That's not it. So here's K is for kitty. Mm. Little blob of brown. And I have my, oops. I gotta take this one off because this is one of my favorites. It's Garfield. Love it. Anyway, uh, minding my minders. I just, the way he's on the blue is just fantastic. Okay, and L is for leaves, that's right. And here we have Deer Butt. Don't believe me? Deer Butt. Looks like a canoe, but it's Deer Butt. Anyway. And I have a leaf needle minder that I made. Okay, so that's those three. And then next up, I started these all last weekend when we went out of town. We have M is for mermaid, N is for nest, O is for owl. And I changed the green on these. I haven't done green except for on the mermaid. But I changed the green. I don't remember what color it called for, but I didn't like it. It was too dark. So I changed it to 9, I want to say 983. That's probably wrong. Not sure why it's not in the bag, but it's not. A lot done on her because I was in the car. So yeah, I just kept stitching her. It's green. It doesn't look green, but it's green. And I have a little sea turtle needle minder from Brenda's Minders and More. Random bits of floss everywhere. Okay, this is Ennis for nest. started on the branch. Some brownish black there. And I have a camera needle minder from Nessa's, mi uh, Nessa's Needle Minders. And last but not least is O is for Owl. needle minder from Minding My Minders. Okay, so that 
So all my starts, okay, there, it's probably not all of them because I think some of them ended up getting just put away in the bins and didn't get pulled out. So you'll see them when I pull them out. Okay, so that's all my starts. And knowing my camera, my phone, it's going to cut me off here in 15 minutes. So I'm going to take a nice clean break here. Um, shift my booty. Okay. And I'm just going to show you a couple random items. And then I'll stop and start, hopefully, um, to show you the whips. So I actually have finishes. Believe it? I don't remember when I finished these. I think I finished these back in May or June. I don't remember, but I know I didn't show them all to you. So, if you have seen them, you're going to see them again. These little two are going to be uh, Christmas ornaments. We have Beast from Beauty and the Beast by Clouds Factory. We have Alice from Alice's, uh, Alice in Wonderland from Clouds Factory. We have... C is for crochet from Brooks Books. This is part of her um, free stitchers alphabet. And this one I took some liberties. First off, this was my first time working with um, number eight, Krynik. I don't like it. I like four, don't like eight. So, but there it is. But I also, I did change this up to be a brighter orange. And this center here and the corners was supposed to be Krynik. And I put beads there instead. So I had fun with that. Not quite sure how I'm going to finish those off. Two characters or ornaments. Not sure about C is for crochet. This is Remember Me. It's a freebie from Lizzie Kate. And I changed the colors up to whatever colors I felt like. And I put some green crinic for the little squigglies. That's going to be a magnet. And I finished... Cat hair. I finished... Scotland by Tiny Modernist. Changed up some of the colors. Don't remember what, but I changed up some of them. Anyway, very proud of that one. That one's going to be framed. So, those are my finishes. Oh, I didn't show you my start for today, did I? No, I didn't. get to my project bag here in the next video. Anyway, so this is my start for today. This is another freebie from Cross Stitching Guild. It says, don't worry, keep stitching. So, lots of fun you can have with that. This is the second half of the periwinkle I got from Fabrics by LJ. So, I started on the frame. And I'm using um, Mo's Sail Floss Ben for the frame. I don't know about the... I'll be using variegated for the words, but I don't remember. I don't know what. But that's the thread. I haven't bobbinated that yet, obviously. <laughs> so that, But that's my start for today. Anyway. And my needle minder says cross stitch when you want to stab something a, th a thousand times. Okay, so that's my start for today. Nope. I don't know what I'm looking for. It's not in there. Anyway, so, I'll stop it for now. That way I don't have to worry about stopping it in a weird spot. So, no one's come in to bug me yet. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to make the second video. So, I shall be back, and I, like I said, I'll try to remember while it's uploading to go in and put all the links to all the electronic charts. I'm going to stop playing with my hair. And so that's it. So, hope you saw lots of fun stitching, and I hope I enabled some people. I like to do that. Anyway, I'm going to stop the camera, and I'll see you in a little bit. Thanks. And as usual, it's not going to turn off. Nope, it doesn't like me. I'm pushing the button.